Hey guys, what's up? By Sectatron here from One Hive Gazette, here with my next war recap video. And you guys kind of already saw the hint of the result from my uh, video where I showed my base within this war. But uh, just one more time, lost by one star, unfortunately. Uh, this comes as our second loss within like the last three wars. So had some tough matchups, but uh, was a good job to the other clan. You can see they got our 11s two star. And then most of our 10s 3 star uh, just left, looks like four of our bases total, 2 star, then all the 9s 3 star. Um, the difference was we had some trouble with their 9s, which really limited the attacks we could use on their top bases. So because of that, we only got a 1 star up there, which uh, I guess was the difference, because uh, we left, uh, well, let's see right here. Um, because we left, yeah, we left four bases also, uh, not three starred. So that could have been the uh, the tying star. Still, I think they had us on percentage either way. Um, but so we might have needed two stars. But either way, it was a close war, and uh, obviously everything down here was three starred. Even though it took quite a few attacks to get all the nines cleaned up, uh, so a little bit of trouble there. But uh, still, some great attacks to show today. And I'm not going to show any of the town hall eleven dips because. Uh, our Town Hall 10's got plenty of 3 stars, uh, I'll just go ahead and show those because it's an even Town Hall level uh, going against an even Town Hall, so uh, even better there. Let's start at number 8, uh, we have Thor starting it off, and I only show one bowler attack because I know they're not the always the most fun to watch. We'll look at some Valk attacks too uh, at Town Hall 10, so anyway, uh, starting off with Thor, drops down some minions, it gets taken out by a Tesla, um, which is too bad, but uh, anyway, goes ahead and drops the queen down to, for the other side of the funnel, uh, just taking out these buildings. Like I said, and I will continue to say, uh, you have these healers anyway, so might as well get value for them because uh, there's no point just dropping stuff down and then dropping the healers at the end. You want to try to get some initial value for those healers, whether it's on the queen, whether it's on the bowlers, or whether it's on the golem like you see there, because he drops down the other two healers on the golem which helps it stay up for a little longer. Pops the queen's ability and uh, the funnel's created on the other side. Pretty much all the bowlers are going in. You typically want a few bowlers to go to the outside though because that helps create the funnel. And a few did for him uh, even though they ended up dying. So everything's pretty much in the middle of the base here. Uh, you can see how quickly they got through that first inferno tower. And then he has that jump to let them into the core right there. The rage and then that all important freeze. Uh, sorry about that. Um, the all important freeze right there which freezes up the infernos while it goes down. And then these healers are still back here, healing up the bowlers. And sometimes a few of them will go down to an air defense, but the bowlers typically move so fast that the healers have enough hit points, whereas they won't go down. So uh, it works out great here. A few healers on the queen, a few on the bowlers. Nice little split there. And uh, all that's left is that kind of part of the base. And if these healers stay up long enough, once both infernos are down, you don't really need any spells because assuming you have a significant number of healers left up uh, plus some bowlers and the queen, uh, it's really hard for these defenses to get through uh, these healed troops because remember the bowlers get the double heal, uh, at, or I guess I should say the, the queen gets the half heal, so people might have an uh, underestimated, underestimated idea of how much uh, heal a healer really does, but when it's on a regular troop like that, one or two healers can really make it tough for a cannon to take out a bowler and uh, that's just one bowler out of a group of a number of them and the splash damage won't do anything against the healers because they're a lot more powerful than people think it's just that they all, people always do queen walks and stuff that you only see half the heal effect that the heroes get so anyway awesome attack to Thor let's go ahead and move on to our second Town Hall 10 3 star I believe yeah number 10 uh, Jinj 95 coming in here and uh, doing it with Valks. And these guys had some great hero levels and some uh, pretty upgraded bases. All their Town Hall 10s were very solid and uh, I think it was pretty cool that our Town Hall 10s were able to 3 star as many as we did because uh, level 3 Inferno Towers pretty much across the board. Uh, I think this might have been their bottom Town Hall 10, I'm not sure. I think it might have been. Uh, but you can see he has the lower level point defense uh, the Archer Towers are a little bit upgraded, but for the most part, uh, along with the Cannons, they're only Town Hall 9 level. It only has that one Expo that's been upgraded. So anyway, uh, still a tough base though, especially with those Infernos. 
drops down the queen for the uh, funnel on that side, and then a valk and a wizard for the other side. I've been seeing this more often with valks, it's just a very short queen walk, and then letting the queen meet up with the valks, and that sometimes the healers get onto the valks. It's usually a good combination. Uh, so anyway, everything making its way in, the funnel is created, goes ahead and uh, drops down the rage, and luckily the valks kind of scurry into that heal because there was a double giant bomb set, a balloon, quite a bit of damage in that area, but they uh, were able to tiptoe their way through, has another jump and then a freeze for the Inferno. So they're already on that back end Inferno. It's going down quickly. The Valks have been taken out for the most part, but so has the base and a group of hogs is coming through. Uh, that one Inferno is about to go down to the queen. There it goes. Uh, that helps a lot because both Infernos are down. The queen can get healed back up by the two healers that remain. Pops the ability, she'll get that expo. And then uh, for the most part, there's not many point defense on her. Coming in with some more hogs at the bottom here. The king just went down, but he did some tanking. And <clears throat> the big difference at Town Hall 10, when you have a max Town Hall 10 versus a semi-new Town Hall 10, or maybe even a mid-level Town Hall 10, whatever you want to call this, uh, is the under-upgraded cannons and archer towers actually makes a huge difference because once you destroy the middle of the base, there's just... Uh, that outside ring of point defense usually and sometimes wizard towers but it's a big difference if it's town hall 9 level versus upgraded twice to the max town hall 10 level because that can ruin the end game attack for you whereas if it's still town hall 9 level uh, it makes it much easier to just kind of roll through the rest of the base with what you have left from taking out the infernos so anyway that's quite a bit easier I guess to 3 star than a max town hall 10 but still impressive and uh, still not easy to do. Let's take a look at number 20, Nano John, coming in with a Gola Loon attack. And uh, people might not immediately recognize this as a Gola Loon base. And uh, obviously, there's multiple ways to three star a base, but um, this is a, definitely a great way to do it. And one thing I like about this is if you can kind of drop down the Golem, create the funnel, and the Golem isn't taking much damage, there's only one point defense on it. That's way more important than people think. If uh, the golem's taking damage from three, four different point defense when you drop it down, that can be a big factor in the attack because the golem's already busted by the time you're entering the base. But right here, he's getting value for the queen. She's already taking out defenses, and the golem's only at about a third health. So it still has you know quite a bit of hit points left in it for a golem. And only right here is it busting when the king's already in the base. And luckily, everything kind of got onto the golemites. So it's way more important than you would think that um, the amount of point defense, especially cannons, because they don't get any air value when you take them out. Uh, the amount of point defense initially is very important when you're planning out these attacks, trying to keep those golems protected until you actually enter the base, because uh, you don't want any unnecessary tanking, if that makes sense. But got great value for the queen, the heroes, and a few funneling troops. Took out uh, a good part of the base and got the essentials like the Queen and the CC troops and the air defense, all that good stuff. And the Queen is still up, which is always great, uh, helping out with the balloons. Uh, so anyway, good stuff there. And uh, first air defense is about to go down. The two haste spell uh, propelled the balloons in. I uh, just had a bit of that one Lava Hound left up. It goes over the tank along with the max one from the CC. And uh, that last Lava Hound going in right here, great timing. Right, um, one thing is another great thing when to see happen is the air defense targeting lava pups because it's kind of a waste since the lava pups have no hp really and uh there's so many of them if you get lucky and the air defense gets on the lava pups that's good don't need, you don't need to necessarily send in your next lava hound too early especially if you think you're going to be short on lava hound tanking uh let that target your lava pups and maybe even a balloon or two because sometimes it's more important to say the Lava Hound health, even though they're the tanking troop, uh, sometimes you can kind of get some uh, intermediate tanking in between Lava Hounds, if that makes sense, kind of confusing. Uh, didn't explain that the best way, but anyway, awesome attack to Nano John, getting the three star. We have two more Town Hall 9s, uh, 26 is the next one. Uh, what was this, Civil Serpent? Uh, oh yeah, this was a nice Valk attack against kind of an interesting base, but he take, makes the most out of it and gets great value for a queen walk right here. So anyway, uh, starts off with the queen as usual, a wizard to help create the funnel there, 
she drops her pretty much on top of the uh, entrance to that uh, dead zone on the base. And the wizard and the minions are just going to funnel her right into the base here. She is going to start taking some damage from these point defense. But uh, he has a rage plus the ability. Uh, right here, you'll see that the queen starts getting pretty low. And she drops the rage, but uh, has to drop the ability too. Because she would have gone down if he didn't really close there. So kind of a waste of rage, but kind of not at the same time because he still gets value for it since uh, right here she takes damage from the dragon, the expo, the rage uh, still is helping out, keeping her up right here because otherwise she would have gone down also. So still get some good value. Expo goes down, she'll continue walking and uh, comes in with the Valks here. And this is kind of a nice little uh, surgical Valk attack because he knows where the Valks are gonna go. And one thing I loved here is uh, dropped in those wall breakers and just opened up the next compartment for them to walk into. Awesome wall breaker placement. Right there poisons the queen that helps keep his, his queen up because the enemy queen doesn't shoot as fast. He used the king there to take out all the trash buildings, keep the funnels, or keep the Valks inside the base. And right here they do go across the double giant bomb set, but he has one more heal for them, plus eight hogs. Uh, the queen got such awesome value there. You can see how much of the base she's really taken out. Uh, great stuff there. And then here comes in with these hogs and has that heal for the Tesla farm. Uh, so everything's going down. Crush the space. Just that those Teslas which are going down right now. And then the Archer Tower and the Cannon, uh, which will go down in just a moment. So we'll go ahead and go times two as all those remaining Valks and all the hogs uh, make their way around and take out these last few buildings. Great attack, the Civil Serpent. Um, I have one low-level hero attack for you guys, which will go to uh, number 39. Um, this is the lowest level heroes we're looking at right now in Genesis. I know this isn't terribly low for some clans, but 15, 17. And uh, the base is a little bit lower than a max Town Hall 9, which is typically what you'll see on the defending side of our lowest attacker. So anyway... Um, there's the queen walk. Uh, starts up at the top, uh, just letting the queen go down. The funnel is pretty much already created. Uh, goes ahead and drops a giant and then a hog. The giant did a good job tanking because the hog might have gone down too quickly to get the full sea sealer otherwise. So a smart play there to tank for all the point defense in the area. Gets the sea sealer, has the poison, the rage, and uh, the witch is going to go down the poison along with those wizards. And the queen will keep moving from there. So it just takes a little while, but she goes down. And the queen enters in here. Went ahead and wall breakered the base open. The army camp is a nice natural funnel there. Because uh, as soon as it goes down, she's entering. And uh, right here, she is taking uh, damage from two-point defense. But that expo is a little bit lower level. And the archer tower goes down. So uh, the queen is not really in any danger here. Uh, she'll keep moving through. And uh, the queen walk will continue. Um... I think in just a moment the Valks will come. He went ahead and dropped these minions to start the funnel here. Uh, Queen continuing to move. Really no point defense besides the expo for now. But there goes the king, a few Valks, some wall breakers. Uh, the king kind of was a funneling troop there. And unfortunately he goes to the outside. Probably would have been more ideal for him to go into the middle of the base here. And one more thing, because the king was tanking, I would have dropped a few hogs. Maybe he didn't quite see this. But while the king's doing the tanking, go ahead and drop some hogs, get a free trade on those two point defense right there. Not a big deal. But anyway, the Valks move through the base. They kind of go in like a weird way around the uh, outside and then back into the base. But has the rage, has the heal, and uh, they tear through that, that Tesla farm, get all the point defense. There's a huge cluster of defenses right there that go down very quickly and actually has some nice balloons there for those two defenses anyway. Uh, so still gets those taken out in a pretty sneaky way and they'll go ahead and keep moving in that air defense goes down at a great time before it can do too much damage to the balloons just one air defense left which uh will go ahead and take out these balloons but doesn't matter it has valks the queen healers uh few, some cleanup troops everything going down uh, awesome attack freestyler getting the three star uh as one of our lower level hero attackers but anyway that's the war hope you guys enjoyed it uh, once again, tough ward for us, but uh, we'll rebound, and I think most of us are out doing kind of like a social war. I'm not doing it, and uh, I was actually hoping to record a live attack uh, in this war, but I ended up having to do two uh, Town Hall 9 dip attacks, which wouldn't have been fun to record. So um, 
that's that. Hopefully a live attack sometime in the future, and uh, maybe you can get some more uh, awesome attacks shown from this war in the future. But thanks for watching, though, and I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye, Sectatron out.